Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the sympathetic nervous system in under two minutes. Now, the sympathetic nervous system is known as our fight or flight response, and it gets activated in times of stress and fear, and its job is to keep us alive in that moment. So, we've all been scared before. What happens? Well, we know that our pupils dilate. They open up. Why? To let more light in. More light in means we see more about our surroundings, and we can decide to fight or run away. Our heart rate and its contractile force will increase. This means more oxygen and blood gets delivered to the muscles of the body. We can fight or run away. The respiratory tract, it dilates, opens up, more air gets in, more oxygen, more oxygen to the muscles, we can fight and run away. The blood vessels will either constrict or dilate, depending on which ones. Those of the heart will dilate, but those of the skin will constrict. This means blood gets redirected from the skin to the muscles of the body, we can fight and run away. It's also the reason why we look pale when we get scared. Now, the sympathetic nervous system is mediated by the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the master regulator of the fight or flight response and sends signals down the spinal cord to the neurons that will shoot out. And you can see all the neurons of the sympathetic nervous system come out of the thoracic and lumbar region from T1 to L2. The first neuron, known as the preganglionic neuron, is short. The postganglionic neuron is quite long and that goes to the target organ. The preganglionic neuron will release acetylcholine as its neurotransmitter and the postganglionic neuron will, will release noradrenaline, also known as norepinephrine. Now you can see that when it comes to the adrenal gland, there's only a preganglionic neuron that goes to the adrenal gland it releases acetylcholine and the adrenal gland will release adrenaline. Adrenaline is a hormone that jumps into the bloodstream and tells all of these structures to do their job. In addition to that, cortisol will be released, which is a stress hormone, and that helps release glucose from the kidney and also the liver so we can use for energy. Now you can see that this is the sympathetic nervous system.